I'm here with school committee candidate John Graziano, who is seeking his second term with the school committee. John, welcome to HCAM News. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure to be here. Now, can you give us some background information about yourself and things you do in the community? Sure. Um, my wife Erin and I moved to Hopkinton uh, about five years ago. We have three children, all in elementary school, um, a 10-year-old, a 7-year-old, and a 4-year-old. And um, within the community, in addition to being a member of the school committee, I'm also on the elementary school building committee, working towards the solution for center school. Um, apart from serving on town committees, I also enjoy coaching soccer. Um, I coach both of my youngest two children. I coach their teams this spring. Um, and that's pretty much all I have time for, I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, that sounds like a lot on your plate already. Uh, now, what do you like about being part of the school committee most? So um, I, I like being on the school committee. I, I, when I decided to run, I was looking for an opportunity um, to serve the community. When we decided to make Hopkinton our home five years ago, I really wanted to be a part of the community and be active, um, not just sort of accepting the services that the community provide, but being able to work towards them. Um, Education's always been a passion of mine. I'm the son of a school teacher. I married a, a teacher um, as well. She used to teach at Elmwood, actually. Um, so education has always been something that's important to me. So I enjoy being able to work with our educators and help uh, make our school system better. All right, well, Hopkinton Schools recently have been uh, ranked very high, and one of the latest rankings that came out was uh, Niche.com's ranking, ranking Hopkinton High School the 12th best in the state. What would you say the biggest accomplishment of the school committee has been since you've been a part of it? Um, so it's difficult to highlight just one accomplishment, so I might highlight three of them. Uh, I think first and foremost, uh, when I came in to the school committee, there was a lot of leadership turnover. I think the hiring and selection of Dr. McLeod as the superintendent is one of the best things we've done in my three years. I think she's the right leader for this district, and I'm very proud to have been a part of that selection process. I'm also excited about the progress we've made toward the center school solution. To be able to navigate through the MSBA process, to get to the stage with where we are, getting ready for town meeting to put forth a land acquisition for our preferred site um, has shown great progress and I've enjoyed partnering with them as a member of that committee. Uh, and then I think third, recognizing that the rankings that we get are, are wonderful. Um, we love hearing about the, the high school rankings, but really constantly looking to shore up the foundation of our educational programs because the expectations are getting higher. So I think programs like the full day kindergarten program we rolled out this year, the co-teaching model that we rolled out this year, that we've seen great early returns on are, are proud accomplishments of the committee as well. Uh, now, what made you want to be a part of the school committee? Um, so, again, as I said, uh, education's always been a passion of mine. Um, and I looked at the opportunities that were in front of me in terms of volunteering in the community. And uh, we actually came, we moved into town right at the time of the uh, last vote for the school, the failed Fruit Street school vote. And so, recognized the problems that existed at Center School, it felt like the the situation at center school was not it was obviously not optimal and we wanted to you know we, we should expect more as a community um, for the, the school that we that we can provide to our children so I wanted to be part of the school committee to, to be a part of finding that solution now if you're selected for a second term what are some of your goals um, so I sound like a bit of a broken record here but we're at a critical stage in that project so I really want to see out the elementary school building project, continue to work with the community, the elementary school building committee, um, and drive towards that solution. We've done a lot of work as a school committee in the past couple years of really, as I said, shoring up the foundation. And by, what, by that I mean looking at primarily at the elementary grades for program improvements that we can make to help um, to help continue the great results we've seen within Hopkinton schools. So I want to continue to look at all grade levels and look for opportunities where we can continue to improve and get the results that we've had and, and that we all expect. Well, John, we wish you the best of luck at the ballot box on May 18th. Thanks okay. for joining us. Thank you very much.